Hi everyone. I have been walking around my apartment and I've just, I feel like I have a lot of little baby plants and I always, I don't know, I think little baby leaves and baby plants are so cute and so adorable. And I also feel like it doesn't last very long that they stay in that cute little baby phase. And just for some reason right now, I have a lot that are in that phase. So I thought it would be cool to kind of gather a little video, gather them all together and sh share with you all how cute these baby leaves are. I have one that I would say really kicked off this video because it's so adorable and I, I didn't even know this plant looked like this when it was a baby or as a baby, but I'm not gonna show that one to you first because it's my favorite. So I think the first one I'm gonna show you all and I'm also additionally, I'm gonna try to show you if a lot of these are just like babies I have taken off of plants I have. So I'm gonna to try to show you the parent plant. Um, others, either the parent plant has died or I purchased it as a little baby. So I'll walk you through that as I go through each one as well. But um, this is an Anthurium Magnificum baby and I will go ahead and put in pictures of what it looked like when I got them. So I have four, I, I have five. The fifth one is in the prop box. So it's just taking its time. But yeah, I'll show you each of them. This one I th would say is the smallest. And it is really interesting how the leaf shape changes with each leaf, how it changes and gets bigger. Um, and I feel almost like there is a little, they're, they're all kind of growing up to look the same, but I've been trying to pay attention to see if maybe they look a little bit different. I would say they, they're all, they all have the same kind of leaf pattern going on. Yeah, so these are, and this one has a little baby leaf incoming too. So these are, these are all Anthuria Magnificum um, seedlings that I got and they're growing up. They're actually quite big compared to what they looked like when I first got them. And they might actually need to get pot up into something larger. Um, I have one more. This is, I would say, the biggest one. And these leaves are so pretty. Um, and I, yeah, I'm thinking they need to kind of get into a bigger pot. And yeah, you can kind of, because you can kind of see the roots. This is just a little shot glass. Um, I don't think I have the space for four large Magnificum, so I'll probably give some away at some point because it seems they, they were super easy to, you know, take care of. I guess I didn't need to really get any as insurance, but still, it's fun to be able to gift somebody that. And also, it's fun to just see all of them grow up and see how they, they differ from each other. Okay, this is my... Alocasia cuculata. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but look at how cute that leaf is. It's so teeny. It's finally, it's, it's just now starting to come out. It hasn't completely unfurled, but this is its first leaf. This was a corm that I got from the mother. Um, and it's just in sphagnum moss and cocoa chips right now, but so, so cute. Um, and here's another one. This leaf has unfurled completely. And this is a corm as well that I took from the mother plant and the roots look amazing. They look nice. And then I have a lot of these. I just didn't want to show every single one of them. So I'm only going to show you one more. And this is one that I am most excited about because you can see it is variegated. And I actually do have another one that's variegated too. Another corm is variegated. I should have brought that one out, but I... I didn't, but you can see this one's significantly very, like has a very popping, striking variegation and the roots, it's already root bound in this little shot glass. So definitely probably need to get this guy potted up in a big, something bigger as well. But I'm hoping that next leaf that comes out is variegated as well. And the parent plant, she's right here. Um, She's very big. She's so pretty. I think this, they call this also the Buddha plant. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, it's, I don't, there's like some white stuff on here. I don't know why. Um, 
but this plant is, can you see it at all? This plant, I actually got it and it was variegated, not super strongly. It was actually really struggling. I'll see if I can find some pictures, but um, there was, I should have cleaned these leaves. They're kind of dirty. I, I feel like I clean the leaves on this all the time. It's just a dust collector. I don't really see any variegation on it anymore. This is an old leaf that's yellowing. Oh, here, you can kind of see it here. It's not super noticeable, but I could notice it. I hope the camera can pick it up. And so I, it was, it's kind of been losing it or maybe it's just not getting enough sunlight or something for it to really pop through. But I was really hoping some of the corms would show that variegation as well. And it looks like some of them are, at least two of them are one of them more significantly than the other than the other and this one looks like it might look like it has variegation but um it's not it's just water seeping through the leaf that is not variegation i think there's a specific name for it but i don't know exactly what that name is but yeah this guy is so pretty i really love it just him sitting on the table it it just is kind of your eye just gravitates towards it another baby this is a Palea pep peperamoid, peperamoid, I forget how to pronounce it, but so cute. This plant is known to just kind of give, give off pups very frequently. I think they, they term it the friendship plant. And I did just like take a bunch of pups off of this guy, off of the mother plant and I'll show it, show it to you. Oh, um, and then it just is, it produced another one after I completely took a bunch of them off. I just snapped him off. And here's the, mo the mother plant. It doesn't look like amazing, I feel like. But the, here she is. Ooh. I don't know, she's fun. But she doesn't look like too, too great. Again, I should have cleaned off the leaves, but her leaves are just, very yellow and I don't know if that's because she's so been so focused on maybe she's gotten traumatized for me taking all of the pups off of her um she does get a good amount of light I would say I don't know but yeah she's just given me so many pups I've given uh, some to my friends and my family and I've sold a couple and given some away for free um but yeah, if it starts producing pups again, I might just, it does look really cute when it has pups in it because it looks very full. So I, if it starts doing pups again, I might just, you know, keep them in there. All right, what do we got next? This is a peperomia. But yeah, this is a peperomia. It's like the turtle peperomia. I forget the actual name of it, but it looks like the leaves look like the back of a turtle. And I got this as I bought a plant and I just kind of tossed this in for free in this container and believe it or not the leaves are even smaller when I first got it. I thought there's no way that this guy is going to survive because I mean he's so teeny but he's he's hanging on. He's actually doing pretty good. So I'm just going to I think I'm just going to keep him in here until I really see maybe, I can see kind of some roots on the side, but maybe once I'm able to see a little bit more roots, I'll pot them up in something else. But I don't have a parent plant for this as, um, you know, this was not a plant that I propagated or anything. It was just kind of thrown into me for free. But I really like it. I've, I have really wanted one. I've heard they can be finicky. Um, so we'll see what happens. I, it's doing fine for me right now, but I just have it in my IKEA greenhouse cabin. I don't really have to water it too, too much. Oh, it started raining. So this is, um, in a, a, a medium silver. I believe that's how you say it. And I bought this plant as is, so I don't have a parent to it, but the leaves are so teeny and so cute. I don't feel like I've seen seen such tiny leaves before they're adorable I'm so excited to see how this plant looks once it you know starts sizing up and maturing and get, gets fenestrations um, that's gonna be some time obviously it's so tiny but uh it's so beautiful and cute I love how it has that silver sheen on the leaves 
and it honestly is it kind of reminds me almost of a CB blue but more I guess round than a CB blue is at this at this point but But yeah, very excited for this baby. It just seems so teeny and so cute. I'm so obsessed with it. Um, this little spiky boy, I think it's like a Haworthia something. And this paw, I mean, come on. Look how, just the paw alone is adorable. Um, but he is kind of loose in here. Um, I think I kind of nudged him once when I was watering him. But he is, you know, I think these guys are so cool looking and cute. And he looks so freaking adorable in this little pot. Like, I almost like it better like this. I think I do like it better like this, honestly. And I do have a bunch of others um, kind of in here. Um, I don't want to tip it too much. These guys are super flimsy. They take so long to root. It is kind of weird. Um super slow growers and I got all of these pups from this mother plant which I have had this plant for I want to say like two or three years it's been a long time this guy has really stuck it out I brought I brought him from California so I moved from California to Texas and he came with me and you can see he's already pushing out two little pups again. Um, I don't think this guy is entirely too rare. I think he's pretty common, I would say. Um, but I don't know, it's so pretty. Just look at the, the leaves on it. And I love the white little speckles and it has like that texture to it as well. Super easy to take care of. I think it's honestly would be harder to kill it than to keep it alive. <laughs> At least in my experience. Sorry if you've killed them before. <laughs> now we have an Alocasia Lauterbach, or I think it's called a Purple Sword. And this was a little pup off of my big Purple Sword I had, but that guy died. I separated him. I separated a couple pups from him, and I repotted him in different soil. And I don't know, he, I just could not keep him happy for the life of me. I actually took two pups off of him. This is the only survivor. <laughs> I guess I'm not good with this plant. You can even see it's not very, I have it in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet right now because I don't know how to make this thing happy. Um, but the, the edges of the leaves probably got too soggy being in there, but it does. it is pushing out a new leaf. So um, I am hoping that, oops, I'm hoping eventually it just adjusts to being in my care um, but yeah, when these guys get big, they're so cool looking. They look like they're just like arrows sticking up and pointing at the sky. And this is a, just a teeny little baby. Um, so this was the leaf, this was the newest leaf and then the, the newest one's coming out right there. But yeah, I think if you give it enough light, it gets really dark. So this is actually pretty light and pretty green for this plant, I would say. Usually it's darker. I think I have it kind of hiding underneath some of my other plants within the Ikea greenhouse cabinet, so it's not getting much light. So, it, I mean, I'm guessing that's why maybe it gets sun stressed and gets super, super dark. It's like a purpley, dark, black color. It's so pretty. And now we'll talk about <laughs> this wonky guy. He is so wonky. Uh, <laughs> he is a Monstera and um, I had gotten him because I had seen a, you know, a couple of his leaves are variegated and this leaf was the very bottom and I, so I was separating him from the rest of the Monstera plants and I just, it didn't go very well. So I ended up chopping and propping and this is, I think the only survivor left <laughs> of that chop and prop. But um, yeah, I feel like with, you can kind of see some green, green on green variegation going on a little bit there. Um, it, it's very damaged and weird looking, but it has three growth points. Um, it has one here, or not growth points, like I guess leaves, maybe it's the same thing. It has one here, one here, and then one here. And if I, 
move this. It almost is, I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like that's not even growing off of the node. So I don't even know what's happening with this plant. It is so weird. I'm not complaining because um, if all three of those leaves and growth points are variegated, then that would be awesome. But it has been quite a challenge getting this thing to root because it is so teeny and such a baby. Um, and I honestly don't see too many root. Okay, I can see a root here. But other than that, I don't see too many roots. I just see like, all, it's almost working on just a bunch of leaves, producing a bunch of leaves at this point. But I do want it to get better rooted so I can get it in, um, I don't know, like a better, a better pot because this soil mixture as you can see, it has a bunch of algae and just looks kind of gross, but I'm scared to even repot it in the same size pot because it just seems so delicate that I just would make one wrong move and the whole plant would just say, adios, bye. So I've been patient, but it is, none of these leaves are, have opened. So I don't know, we'll see. This is a weirdo, we'll see. I don't have the mother plant. Like I said, I killed it on accident. Okay, next I have just kind of like, I don't know, a smorgasbord of cuttings. Um, this one's more interesting. This is like more succulents and I just, I actually really do not have very good luck propagating uh, succulents. I don't know why they're supposed to be the one of the more easy ones. Oh, well, that guy. Well, this guy actually, I found him. <laughs> Um, in my windowsill and he, like he wasn't getting any water or anything, but I mean he's dry. He thrived. So I just threw him in here um, Yeah, I'm guessing I probably over I've overwatered in the past um, So the exact oh and there's a that's a Hoya. That's a Hoya cur curtsy. I guess the mother plant um, This is a smorgasbord of succulent I mean, it's not very pretty. I mean, I think this moment that's happening right here where he's trailing down is actually really pretty. Yeah, as you can see, like he gets knocked over. This gets knocked over so much. It's in kind of a high traffic area and the, the cats kind of will knock it over. Um, and yeah, so I always just, the leaves fall off. I throw them back in here and there's kind of a lot going on. I don't know all the succulents in here, but oh, I don't think I can fit any more cuttings in here. I don't know. I kind of want to take all my succulents and put them in one big pot. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know. I'm still thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but this is another one that's been with me since California. So I've had it. I don't think I've had this one quite as long, but I've had it for maybe at least two years. I want to say, um, and it came with a lot more succulents, but I killed off most of them. <laughs> Another suck on the succulent family. This guy is another weirdo. <laughs> I but I love him. He's so cute. It looks like he has his hands up in his in the air and he's waving them like he just don't care. These are little flowers. Um I should probably pluck off the dried ones, but I don't know. I can't believe he's still flowering for me. Like, look at all the flowers he's giving me. He's just going off. And I don't know what to do with these. I don't know if these can give me seeds or anything like that. But yeah, I'm just letting it do its thing. I again, I'm not very good with succulents. You can. <gasps> oh um, I'm just not gonna touch that guy right now. In case there's more of those spiders on it. Oh, I hate when that happens. It makes me not want to touch any of my plants is a little baby cacti he's so cute um and honestly this isn't even that small for a cactus i feel like they can get you know even smaller but i just think he's cute he i consider him a baby he's still in the baby category for me i have no idea what type of cactus this is it was sold to me as cactus assorted but he's a cute little guy this is a so Sodoroy app. Um, it's a philodendron, and I don't know, it just looks so teeny. You can see the chunk in there, but look at the teeny leaves. Now, oh, she said this was the first leaf that came out, and like 
it, it was so tiny. It's like yellow and dead now, but it's so tiny and weird and just formed. And then after that, um, I believe it was this one that came out. So, but yeah, this one is um, super, super cute. Tiny baby leaves. I still think this is baby form. I think we're ready for the last, my most favorite, save my most favorite one for last, the most cutest one. Um, at least I think it's the most cutest one. And so cute. Here it is. Um, this is a baby, I call him my baby Billy. He's a baby Billity. Uh, a philodendron ability and I had no idea this is what it looked like as a baby it looks so different um as it matures and like the leaves are just so cute and I love the color they're so pretty the the stem or petiole is not orange yet and they he when I was buying this they did have some that were like a little bit more mature like the leaf shape was starting to to mature a little bit but I wanted this one because it was so cute. Little baby boy. Yeah, I love him so much. And I mean, it's also more, you know, less expensive. It's less expensive to buy him as babies too. And I know this guy gets pretty big, so I don't have this face for him right now, but I'm hoping in about a year's time, we'll be in a place that's a little bit bigger. And so he'll be able to grow into that, the space that we have in the future. Wow, that was a lot. I had a lot more babies than I thought I had. Oh wait, no, I'm missing one. I've shown, you guys have all seen this. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen this one, these before, but they're a little bit not, they're still babies, but they're um, bigger than I last showed them. So this is my Philodendron El Choco Red. First I was sad because I didn't know whether the propagation was gonna be a success or not, but now that it is a success for me, um, and I have these babies. I am actually really happy. And I'm okay that the mother like got root raw and didn't, you know, didn't make it. But the leaves are so cute. They don't have like any red markings on them yet. And I'm guessing that's just as it gets maybe a little bit more mature with age, that'll happen. Oh yeah, and this one has two growth points by the way. So yeah, those are all the babies I have in my apartment right now and they're they're so cute I love watching them grow and I love just also the fact that I you know was able to separate it or propagate it successfully and like having the mother plant and the baby plant is really cool and also being able to give some like uh, friends or family members the babies of you know the parent plant my parent plant is kind of like I don't know we all have the same plant basically I think that's really cool um, and there's a lot of, I guess, more, the plant itself holds more value because it's more sentimental. Like if somebody gives me a cutting of their, a, a close friend or family member gives me a cutting of one of their plants or something along those lines, the value of it goes up. Maybe not in monetary value, but just in sentimental value. Like I have a Christmas cactus over there. It looks so bad, but I can't get rid of it because I, it just holds memories and I think plants are really interesting because they can hold really good memories and they can also hold really bad memories too. Like if you just had a bad experience, experience with a certain type of plant. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm all right. Rant done. <laughs> um, I hope you all have a great week and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the babies in the house. I'll catch you next time.